Hi guys, it's Babylon Studios here, and today I'm going to be just showing you how to make a uh, secret lava room in Minecraft. Uh, it's pretty easy to make. This is basically what it is. I'm going to show you now. It, it looks like lava. You think, oh, if I go in, I'm going to die. But uh, if you jump in this one, you actually fall through and you don't die. It's a secret room, as you can see. You can uh, hide your cakes, so no one can steal it. You can eat it, and all that good stuff. So uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to make this today. So um, it's pretty easy. I'm just this is my crappy escape route. Obviously, if you're building it properly, you wouldn't make the escape route so easy. <laughs> well, there wouldn't be a escape route. Shut up. Okay, so, um, yeah, to make this, it's pretty easy. All we want to do is uh, have some lava. Oh, there's my failed one over there. Basically, you want to have uh, four buckets of lava. You can have buckets or just spawned lava from in the edit or whatever you like. That's what I've done. I've just spawned it from here, but you can have buckets. Uh, yeah, so you want to have four buckets of lava and four buckets of water, depending on how big it's going to be. Um, me, I've just done a four grid here, I've just done two by two, if it's two by two. Um, yeah, that's how much you need for this. And you're also going to need as many, how many, uh, how big you make it, meaning how many bits of water you use. For instance, I'm using four of each, so I'm going to need eight signs. You're going to need um, a sign for each bit, bit of water you place or bucket of water you place, if that makes sense. You'll understand what to make it. You want to build it, uh, six down. So this is one, two, three. Fail. Yeah, this is pretty good for, like, uh, hiding things in multiplayer, because obviously this does work in multiplayer, and, uh, yeah. Right, here we are. As I said, you can build this as big as you like, but I'm just, uh, building it four by four. 2x2, two two, sorry, whatever. So uh, now you want to get these signs. Just get four out. And uh, right there, one below the uh, top, you want to put a sign down. You don't have to write anything on, you can write on if you want, but it really doesn't make a difference. There you go, now once you've got those placed, you want to get the next four out. Uh, just place them down here, and uh, you want to place them a block, two blocks below it, just here. Just put them there. There we go. Okay, now you want to. Well, what you want to do now is you want to get your water buckets or source. You just want to place them on here. You make sure you place them on each corner. Uh, there we go. Now what you want to do is. Um, if you have the fly mod, you can actually fly through the water, but I don't actually have fly mod on at the moment. So I'm going to just uh, dig through the ground to get back up. Obviously, if you're building it properly, like I said, you can just, um, you won't have to do this. Just uh, put two down there, and just dig up. Now you want to get your lava out, and uh, you want to go ahead and, this at the top, you can see we've got the water there, it's not falling through because the signs are there. You want to get the lava, place it in each of the corners, like I'm doing now, and uh, there you are. It's now still, you can um, go ahead and throw things in there. If you throw your items in, obviously they will still um, break like they do, but if you jump in, you will not die. So, uh, thanks everyone else for what, thank you very much everyone for watching. Uh, if this helped you, or if you liked it, please uh, give the video a thumbs up, because uh, I love it when you do. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Bye. <coughs>